guys, welcome back to Ride with Sheridan. So, today's video is the long-awaited Q&A. So, let's get on into it. 100% reason to remember the name. This is 10% luck, 20% skill, 18% concentrated power, 5% pleasure, 50% pain. 100% reason to remember the name. Let's go! Okay, so, I had to change the camera angle a little bit. Do you like it? Instead of being over there, yeah, over here. I like it. Um, probably not gonna, it's not gonna stay this way. It just had to be like this for now because I needed to charge my phone while I was recording. So, come a month ago, I guess, I asked you guys for some Q&A questions and it is time to answer them. So, I have this duffel bag, rodeo print, love it. And so um, I thought I'd use it to shuffle things up. So I've got, you can hear them in here. I've got all the questions, the person's username and their questions, written down on a crumpled up piece of paper. I'm gonna shake the bag and pull one out. So, here we go. Okay, we're gonna pull it out. Uh, while I'm pulling it out, I want to give a shout out to Emily Archibald. She asked for a shout out a while ago, and I've been meaning to give her one. Okay, we got a question. Um, it is from Hayden. All right, 2022 goals. So I want to make the it used to be called Junior American, now it's called Junior Patriot. I'd like to make the Junior Patriots. I'd like to qualify for Little Bridges Finals in poles and in ribbon roping. I'm already in in barrels. I would like to um, make the finals at All American Youth and BBR and the Patriot, which the Patriot's right around the corner. I know that's a lot of ands. Um, and I would also like to, I got big goals. I would also like to, um, when the year end for my Little Bridge Association, Central Arkansas Little Bridge Radio Association, I'd love to win the year end in the barrels. And yeah, I would also love to become a Little Bridge's world champion. I'm not sure about it this year, but maybe in a few years. All right, her next question was, favorite stud to breed to? Okay, so we haven't bred a whole lot of mares, but um, I'm breeding Penny to Jack, as y'all know. Um, I've talked about it several times. I really like Slick by Design. My sister has a really nice little mare that is Slick by Design. We also have a grandson, a Frenchman's guy, and he's really nice. Um, we like him. So I'd say, my personal opinion, I love Slick by Design. I love, 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 love Epic Leader. I've never had any Epic Leaders. I just, ugh, I love them. They're so pretty and they just, their turns are beautiful. Goodbye lanes are fast. Definitely not my favorite. I'd have to say Slick is probably my favorite. I do like Trace Ace. I do like Trace Ace. But I'd say Slick is my favorite. Hayden's next question, next question is, how many rodeos do I attend a month? Okay. It really varies. We usually go to one about every weekend in a month. Sometimes we'll skip one weekend or two weekends, sometimes none. It really just depends on the weekend. Sometimes it's go, 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 and other weekends we have like two races or uh, months. So it really just depends. All right, fave rodeo clothes brand. I love Rock Revival and Ariat jeans. They are amazing. Um, and I love Thunderbird shirts. Cowgirl Tough shirts are amazing so for jeans rock revival and ariat and for um shirts thunderbird cowgirl tough i would say so yeah thank you for your questions hayden we are gonna go to the next one. Oh my gosh i feel like there's a hole in this bag it's fine shake it up what do we get um okay Yep, this is our next question, you guys. Um, let's open it up here. Emily Touche, 
how long have you been riding? So I've been riding since I can remember, a little baby, and then I started probably lead line competing when I was about three, and on my own, like no lead line, four to six, I would say, I started, so yeah, pretty much my whole life. How long have I been competing in radio? Like I just said, I started doing it on my own at about three to six, or er, four to six. Biggest horse achievements. Winning this saddle right here on Penny. You can't see the back numbers, but making the Junior World Finals, making Little Bridges Finals, making Junior NFR, making Huey Junior Patriot. Um, yeah, I'd say that's it. Patriot Finals several times. Um, BBR Youth 3D Champion 2021. Um, I'll put a photo of the buckle on screen because it's on my belt right now. So, yeah, I'd say those are my biggest horse accomplishments all right played any other sports i tried gymnastics for a little while and i did running cross country for a little while i don't know if you guys can see these but i did cross country for a little while um let me find what i'm gonna yeah this is from a 5k i ran a little so yeah, gymnastics and running. So let's draw the next question. Man, this bag's really worn out. Okay. Ooh, this is from Barrel Horses and Brittany. This one got a little bit ripped, but these are all the questions because I looked at it before. All right, she says, Fave sports brute, but favorite sport boots brand. I use Classic Equine and Professional's Choice, so I'd have to say Classic Equine and Professional's Choice. Bell boots and leg boots, they're amazing. Faya, um, what saddle brand do I use? Um, so I use Double J, that's my current saddle, and I used to have two saddles that were Bob Marshall, treeless sports saddles, and I sold one of them a while back when I got my Double J, and then I sold the other one here recently. So, um, because I grew them and I didn't need them anymore. So, yeah, that is, that is that. So, we're going to shake it up. There's not many. Oh, I think one fell out. Okay, but we'll get it off the floor. It's just going to be the last question. All righty. 76 Mommy. She says, what is my biggest fear? Oh, biggest fear. Um, okay. Well, I'd have to say, I'm not sure if she's talking about horse-related fears or fears, so I'll tell both. I am terrified of clowns. Petrified. Horrified. Hate them. Hate them. I can't do clowns. I had a bad experience with clowns, and I can't do it. Um, horse-related, probably losing one of my horses. I know it's inevitable, but it just, it seems ugh. and also I was in a really bad accident um, with a pony named Festus we were both okay thankfully honestly it was more traumatizing than anything else uh, and the first few times I tried to ride after that it was scary um, I will say it was scary so Probably being in another accident like that, which I'm sure is inevitable to happen. But that was really scary. All right. How many horses do you guys have? So, me personally, I have Penny, Festus, Bentley, Lucky, and Bly. Penny and Festus are, of course, retired. Lucky and Bentley are my two main horses, and Bly runs poles. But, all together, including retired horses, my mom's horses, my dad's horses, and my sister's horses, uh, I think 18. I'll put the accurate number somewhere on the screen. So, I'll put the accurate number up there. Um, oldest horse. Probably Festus. He is, so I have papers for him. He's a registered Pinto. And they say 1995 for birth year. But in the photos on his papers, he looks like grown. So, he's at least like 27. Oh, uh, I think I did that math right. Yeah. Um, he's at least 27, maybe more like 
30 something. So he's definitely my oldest horse, but you know, ponies, they're ponies. All right, how long have you been rodeoing? Once again, I answered this earlier in the video, just in case any of you guys forgot, I'll just um, tell you. Once again, I started riding when I was about two-ish. Um, lead line competing at two-ish, I've been riding for a very long time. Lead line at two-ish and then from about three or four to six-ish, I started riding on my own. There's a photo of me at six riding. So um, yeah, I've been doing it a very long time. So yeah, okay, the last question, the one that fell on the floor. Possibly the most important question of the whole video. I purposely saved this one for last. Laura May says, can I get a oh, yeah. And to that, I say, oh, yeah. Um, so, yes, you can get a Hoya. Hoya! Um, so, I guess that does it. Thank you guys so much for all these wonderful questions. I absolutely love them. Let me guess, um, let me know if you guys want me to do this video again. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you leave a like and subscribe, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please, please, please follow me on my other social medias and follow me on my shorts account, Rival Shared in Shorts, where I just post bite-sized content for you guys to enjoy in between the long videos. So please follow me there. I hope you guys had fun on Rib on your Rival Shared and remember, ride with your heart. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!